Philando McLean is walking away from the sport, saying in a text to ESPN, I gotta follow my heart, it ain't football. I'm Antonieta Collins with your ESPN headline. This comes on the day that the linebacker was supposed to report to the Ravens for their first day of team's off-season workout program. Joining us is Jamison Hensley, who covers the Ravens for ESPN. Jamison, how much of a surprise was his retirement? Uh, I think, you know, uh, different circumstances with different players, it might come as a surprise. But uh, for anyone that's really followed the Rolando McLean drama with the Ravens, I don't think anybody can be surprised because you couldn't have any expectations. Uh, I think people were initially surprised last year when he retired for the first time. Uh, and then when he came back, uh, I don't think anybody knew what was going to happen, whether he was going to be able to come back as a player, whether he was going to get eventually cut by the Ravens, or whether he was just going to quit the game again. So uh, for him to announce that he's walking away, he says for the final time, uh, I don't think shocks anyone. But I don't think anybody would be shocked if a year from now we're hearing that from Ronald McLean thinks he's coming back to the sport again. Now, Jamison, do you think his decision was based on his performance last week during the workouts or because of a lack of desire to really play the sport? I, I think the last, last week's workout uh, – played a part in it just because uh, from everything he had said during his time in Alabama during the, the year-long retirement, uh, he, he wanted to get his life back in order, and he was attempting this comeback and, and thought he was in great shape uh, because he had been working out. I think last week's workout where uh, he reportedly not only showed up late, but he couldn't even finish the conditioning test, I think that might have been a reality check for him for just to see – hey, everything that he had put in wasn't enough for the NFL. Uh, so I think the Ravens gave him this past weekend to think over, hey, do, where is his commitment? Does he feel like uh, he can really put his heart into coming back, uh, or does he just want to walk away? And I think he gave them their answer today. So what does this mean for the Ravens and their needs at the linebacker position? Yeah, I mean, right now they're not in a desperate need at inside linebacker. I think they want to improve their depth. Uh, they're going with Daryl Smith, who they re-signed this offseason, uh, and Arthur Brown, a former second-round pick. Those are the two guys they're expecting to start at inside linebacker. But uh, they, they did have C.J. Mosley, the top inside linebacker prospect in this draft. They had him in for a pre-draft visit, so they're obviously interested in, in going forward and trying to really improve that inside linebacker spot. You know, I think they will draft an inside linebacker at some point, uh, but if they take mostly in the first round, it obviously, obviously shows that they really, really want an impact player on the inside. Jamison Hensley with the inside Good stuff as always. And for the latest NFL news, keep it right here on ESPN.com. I'm Antonita Collins with your ESPN Headline.